Hey everybody, it's Rhino. I'm here at Universal Studios Florida. And it's a beautiful day today. It's nice and warm, not too hot. Got a nice cool breeze going. I figured I'd come to Universal, wander around. I don't really have a set goal today, but I'm in the mood for some of my favorite things. And I think I'm gonna walk you through and uh, show you what those are. And uh, spoiler alert, they mostly involve food. So <laughs> brace yourself. I didn't really preface earlier when I came in that I'm actually by myself today, so. I'm gonna see what I can do by myself in a theme park, and I think it's gonna be a treat yourself day. And I have got a hankering for some ice cream. Okay, this is the best ice cream ever, I've ever had. Mm, I got the apple crumble and the salted caramel blondie in the cone, the soft serve, Butter beer is really good too, but these are my two go-to. I can't not get this every time I come to this park, so I definitely recommend it. You've got to try it. If you haven't, you have it licked. So I just devoured my ice cream and it's left me a little bit thirsty. So let's go to one of my favorite drinking spots here and have a beverage. So just over the pond, see what I did there, from Diagon Alley in England is the Simpsons, and that means the Duff Brewing Company. So we're gonna head over there and have one of my favorite beverages to have at Universal Studios. So normally I'll just sit at the bar and enjoy a drink and people watch, but for some reason today, I think maybe because it's 12.05, for some reason today, it's just full and the most annoying family in the world sat next to me and asked, where's the donut stand? When you look directly to your right and it's the lard lad holding the donut. It's literally like you can't miss it. But what's great about this area is there's these nice little hidden, uh, like all these tables that are actually right behind Moe's that you can sit out right on the water here. Yeah, it was just there. So you can just sit here and, and they're all shaded and enjoy your, your adult beverage and then uh, move on to the next location. So I've just finished, almost done with my beer here in Springfield at the, uh, the Duff Brewery. And I am starting to get actually hungry because ice cream and beer don't cut it for this big boy. So I think I'm gonna go try something new, something I have been wanting to have for a while. And that requires me to jump out of the park and go into City Walk. So I'll meet you guys there. I realize now I probably should have Google to see if it, oh no, there's people eating. I was got, I got scared for a second that I've walked all the way here. I'm not gonna get to eat. All right, so I went with the City Walk Hot Dog Hall of Fame, because I've never been here before and I keep trying to go and nobody I'm with ever wants to go here, but I love a good hot dog, come on. Who does? I feel like I'm gonna be pretty filled up with this hot dog. Not to mention I had that beer and ice cream earlier. And if you're not turned on yet by watching me eat that hot dog, I've got another bite, hold on. Here I get. I, I enjoyed it overall. And um, like I said, if you're just looking for a quick grab a bite and run, it's a good place to go. So check it out. Of course, now that I've had ice cream, a beer, and a loaded hot dog with french fries, I was gonna go home and edit this video, but I think I'm gonna do a couple laps around City Walk before I do so I don't feel terrible. And then go home and run three miles. That's it, I'm calling it quits for the day. I've uh, made a real fatty of myself, eating ice cream, drinking that beer, having that hot dog, but I did a couple laps around City Walk to make up for it. Now I think I could actually go home and run three miles of shame now, but it was pretty good. Not too bad for a day, beautiful day, just roaming around by myself at the theme park. It was kind of relaxing, you know? I recommend it, come, come sit down, people watch, do your thing, you know, make a day of it. 